Oh my god, I just pulled an eyelash out of my face. I'm trying to do too much. That hurt so bad. Did you see that? Hi guys, happy Chingy Tuesday. It's Chiana. I am about to get ready for school and I thought, why not do a little impromptu get ready with me? So, I've never done a video like this before, but I'm just gonna go through and show you my daily makeup routine. So let's do this, shall we? Okay, so I start with primer. I was subscribed to the Sephora Playbox for two years, so I have just like endless amounts of minis that I'm trying to work through, and I'm gonna show you guys that in my spring clean out video, but I just have so many minis, so it doesn't even matter, but right now this is the primer that I'm using. It is Hello Fab Pores Be Gone Matte Primer. It's that First Aid Beauty from Sephora. I do like First Aid Beauty. This kind of has like a funky smell to it, but I was using the Milk Makeup like pump like last week, and oh my gosh, I hated it. It was breaking my skin out so bad. One time at Sephora, a guy told me like, if your makeup's sliding off, it's because like you didn't get your primer like everywhere. I don't know if that's exactly what he said, but now I make sure my primer is like all over my face. So then you guys know I have an issue with like getting rid of things or throwing things away if they're not done yet. So I have to use everything I have. So I have this Fenty Beauty foundation that I've had since 2017 and I can check on my Sephora app like when I bought these things and this is the color 180 it's really 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 light I bought it during winter and then I moved away and wasn't back here for another winter till just now so I usually get just like one pump of that and then I use one pump of the born this way and the shade is vanilla that I use it's the Too Faced one um I went in to Sephora twice to get a winter color like a light one and both times they like put it on me and it looked great and then I left and it was like way too dark so I just mix those with like half of a q-tip kind of gross right should probably get a new q-tip and then I always put the foundation on my face because I use a beauty blender and I feel like more of it ends up on my face when I do like one of these moves real quick. I'm getting my eyebrows done today and my mustache and I feel like I just like, I'm, I'm an Italian woman, I'm hairy. So like when I'm doing my makeup and I have like a bad mustache like I do right now, you can really see my mustache when I put on foundation. So um, I'm gonna use just like a little dab of this stuff. But I'm trying to get rid of this too. I've had it for so long. I don't even know what it's for, so I just put it on my face. And then I go in with my wet beauty blender. When I was like first using the beauty blender back when I lived in Disneyland, I would just like use it dry, which how would that even have worked? That was so long ago. I knew nothing. I still don't know a lot about makeup. I think I do like a halfway decent job. I don't know, my friend Gina always looks like so airbrushed and flawless. So I feel like next to her, I always look like a crab cake. Okay, so now I got the base, the foundation, it's ready, it's here, hello. So then I usually go in with the Fenty Beauty um, Contour Stick in Mocha, and I love these sticks, I just think they're great, cause I just like draw right on my face. I just do like that. I don't do my chin or anything, I'm kind of still scared of contouring. So I just do my cheek, and then a little bit and blend it out into the hairline. Cause, I don't know. Skinny forehead. I have this Girl Meets Pearl again from my Sephora Play that I'm trying to use up. So I just usually put up some of this on the back of my hand like that. I have this like mirror here. It's like the, one of those vanity mirrors with the lights. So it's really bright. But this Girl Meets Pearl is like pearlescent. So I just pick some up with the back of my beauty blender. And honestly, I don't even know if it does anything. I just want to get rid of it. Oh yeah, you can kind of see like Okay, I should probably close my windows so we weren't backlit, but it's too late for that now. Okay, I have, I know, MAC does animal testing, so don't buy MAC, don't be like me, but look at, this is literally from so long ago. So long ago. Oh, is it literally, any, oh yeah, okay, so there's this little piece right down there. I'm trying to use it all up. So I use these Morphe brushes. I got this like rose gold set. So this is like the big buffer one that I use for my face, and I'm really just trying to get the last of this. Um, so Mac is horrible. Don't buy from them. But if you have old Mac products, it's great They do like a recycling program. So if you bring them six empty containers, they'll give you something for free But here's the thing I have been just giving them my empty containers not taking a hurry hang 
so I can recycle properly their containers. So that's good. A lot of makeup brands do have recycling programs, so look into them if you have a favorite brand. Okay, so now the face is pretty much done. Um, sometimes I go in with the Huda Beauty, the baking powder in shade Banana Bread, and then I just tap it under my eyes with the, you know what, might as well, let's do it. Yeah, it's probably actually good that I do this since I'm not wearing concealer, but it feels like right now, since it's winter time, like a little drying, a little drying on my face. So I'm gonna go in with this little angled Morphe brush here from the same set as the big fluffy one. I take my Marc Jacobs 102 Tan Trick Omega Bronze bronzing powder. I was on a hunt this summer for like the best bronzing powder I could find or last summer, I suppose. And um, I went, I tried so many. I really loved the like, the Hula, you know, one, the one that everybody has, but I wanted to try something new. And this was one of my favorite ones that I found. I did like a quiz on ColourPop to see what my best blush shade was. And I got this pressed powder cheek blush. It doesn't say the color back here. And that's the color, and then I go in with this brush from Sephora. There was like a Minnie Mouse set that I got, and it's just like a big fluffy. And I go like that. And I'll go like that. Oh, I didn't brush off the powder. We're just gonna go ahead and do that with the blush brush. See, I'm all thrown. So I like love blush. I think it really makes a look. So I like, like to put a lot. I think it just makes you look like alive and beautiful. Okay, so then I go in with a little more highlight because I have so many highlights. I literally have the most highlights because how do you even go through a highlight? You don't. This one is from ColourPop and I'm obsessed with it. Flexitarian. Oh my God, it's so pretty. I would never put it on my face like that because I just like can't, but I use this. It's the 98 Pro Highlight Brush from Sephora. And I just pick some up from the top. I just like go in right here. So next I move to my eyes. Sometimes I do my eyebrows first, sometimes I do my eyelids first. I'm not committed to any single look, but I usually go in with a spoolie and I just brush them up, especially right now because I haven't gotten them done in a long time. So they're kind of unruly right now. And again, I just use what I have right now. I'm using the Urban Decay Brow Blade. I use the side that's just like a pencil. I'm almost done with it. And I just line like right under but not like, you know, too hardcore. I kind of like make it go up a little bit. You see like the difference that just made? And like I hardly did anything. There's just like some, some sparse hairs over there. Okay, so this is from Anastasia Beverly Hills from my Playbox. It is the Clear Brow Gel. And then I just swipe it up real quick. I want to try the Glossier one, the one that's like boy brow or whatever. I'm almost done with these two. So that means I can buy a new thing when I finish my stuff that I already have. I'm so excited. Um, this is my tried and true primer for my eyelids. It's the Urban Decay one. I've gotten this in boxes before. I've literally been using this since, I don't know, I put a little bit on my lids. When I was in seventh grade, I like really wanted to start wearing makeup. So this was genius. I think it was really smart. My mom took me to the Mac counter. I'm using this cute AF ColourPop palette. I am obsessed with this palette and I'm going to go in with the colors Bling and Big Cocktails, these two right here, I'm all over my lid. I'm just going to use a um, this Morphe brush from an eye, eye look set that I got and just this side and I'm going to just like dab, 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 dab and go into my whole eyelid. My mom took me to the MAC counter and she like set me up with a lady and was like, okay, teach her everything she needs to know about like the basics. So the lady gave me like foundation and powder, that powder that I'm using right now. And she gave me like a gold shimmery eyeshadow that I put all over my lid and then like an olive to put in the crease. And I thought who I was because I was like, wow, I'm wearing a crease shadow. And then she gave me like teal blue eyeliner that I still have. And by gave me, I mean, I bought all of these things because she was like, it pulls out like the caramely tones in your eyes because I have really dark eyes. And I thought that was just like the shit and I looked so good every day. So I did that eye look every day for like all of seventh grade, most of eighth grade, all of ninth and 10th grade. I do a crease color. So I use the crease brush from the Morphe palette. 
and I use whatever. Uh, today I'm kind of feeling this color here and then maybe this one in my crease. So I just am going to go with that and just like pack it on my lid. I really like this color, like what it does to my look. You see how that just like really changed the whole look? And then I'm just going to do a little bit of that in the crease. One of my goals for 2020 was to not buy anything new. Obviously, unless it's needed. Like, I'm going to need a primer soon. But I'm going to make sure they're ethical brands. I'm going to look into everything. So next, I am going to use my setting spray. So right now, I use the ColourPop All-Star. I've used different ones. I've used Urban Decay, like, my whole life. I used this fan that Serena got me from Thailand because Kim Kardashian's makeup artist says... I used to only do like three squirts and now I'm like, you know what? Here we go. Kim Kardashian's makeup artist says, every time you spray your setting spray, you're supposed to fan yourself. Like imagine water droplets hitting you while you're riding a bike, which I always thought was like a great metaphor. I think about it all the time. So I do that until my face is dry. I don't know if it does anything or if it helps. That's done. And then the last thing I have to do is my mascara. Sometimes I do a winged eyeliner, sometimes I don't. Yesterday I did, so today I am not going to because honestly, it's just a little more effort trying to look a little more effortless today my hair is really greasy so i'm not trying to like you know i don't know i feel like when i have a lot of makeup on and my hair is greasy it makes my hair look more greasy right now i'm using damn girl Too Faced mascara i used to use better than sex this is brand new so it's like really goopy so i gotta like scrape everything off when i start using it and then it gets all over my face during the day so i don't love this so far and i actually bought this mascara like a year ago and it's been in my drawer and i'm like okay i gotta start using it because i know these things have expiration dates but I think it's from like the day you open it. That's what I've heard. Okay, so I have lip balm on right now. Um, I never do my face spray after my mascara because sometimes I do and then I'll blink and then the, everything's ruined. So this is my face. The last thing I do ever is lipstick. I have this big box of lippies from ColourPop. Again, yeah, I preach not being wasteful and then here I am. I literally have like 200 lipsticks and I never wear lipstick. So this year I'm really trying to wear a lot more lipstick. I really like a dark nude. I think I look really good in a dark nude, but today, let me try Cookie. A matte, it's matte and it's called Cookie. These lippy sticks from ColourPop are the best lipsticks I've ever used. I love them. Oh, this is like so close to the color of my lips. I love that. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching my Get Ready With Me. I'm so excited, this has been so fun. I've never done a video like this before and I've always wanted to. I did do a skincare routine video, but I didn't like do the skincare on my face. And I didn't know the setup was gonna work and I think it worked great, so yay. Happy Teenage Tuesday, I'm gonna go get dressed and get my butt to school, probably heat up some lentil soup from Trader Joe's so I have something to eat today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy Teenage Tuesday everybody, bye.